Hello everyone, this is your 5 and welcome to the Cobra Man Central Toy Review. And today so we're looking at the 2008 release by Hasbro of the 25th anniversary G.I. Joe Vehicle and Action Figure Review. And today's Vehicle and Action Figure Review is a part 1 video and we'll be focusing our review on the Ram Cycle and Corporal Breaker. Now I got this straight from a local toy shop near my area for 119 ringgit and 90 cents which actually they sculpt the price to double the amount because it used to sold around 60 or 70 ringgit there. Not much of a choice because it's really hard to get this vehicle pack nowadays. I missed the chance on getting this back in 2008 and when they sold out, well there's no other shops that actually sell it until well this toy shop which is also a sculpture shop that recently opened near my area starts to well bring in the old stuff as you can see the packaging is really beat up not much of a choice but still a very nice vehicle set let's take a look at the front part packaging itself front part packaging you got really large window that displays the vehicles and the figures but we'll focus on the Joe's version the ram cycle is there with corporal breaker at the back portion of the artwork itself, you notice there's mountains and explosions. Very simplistic artwork, not really that interesting. On one side here, you got a nicer image of the Ram Cycle going up against the Televiper. And at the back portion here, we have the figure, Corporal Breaker, and the Ram Cycle. Now, the Ram Cycle comes with several features with front wheel that turns, removal saddlebags, removable panels, rotating Gatling guns, and free rolling wheels. Now for Corporal Breaker here, what's interesting for this vehicle pack is that you'll notice the figure is equipped with the, well, the blown bubblegum accessory for the character Corporal Breaker that, well, constantly chews bubblegum and blows bubblegum. But for this vehicle pack, it does not come with the bubblegum accessory. Not too sure why they wanted to, well, put that image and deceive people, but, well, who am I to complain? Now, at the bottom section here is the rest of the lineup, and you notice the packaging is all torn up. Here we have the Cobra His Tank with the Cobra His Tank Driver Commander. Next, we have the Serpento and his Air Chariot. And next to it is the Armadillo Tank with Ralph Steeler Pulaski. Here we have the van vehicle with double clutch. Very nice. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging so we can molest the vehicle and the figure. Be right back. And we're back after the new figure and there's the stuff out from packaging. Now, inside the packaging comes with a nice little file card for Corporal Breaker here. Now, stated that communications officer, code name Corporal Breaker, you got a nice little image of Corporal Breaker there. File name Kirby Alvin R. Primary Military Specialty Infantry, Secondary Military Specialty Communications Technology, Birthplace Gallenberg, Tennessee, Grade E4. Now, in this write up, there's actually well, two combinations of write up which is fused into one. One is the normal write up, the other one, well, somehow they merge in with proper breaker skills. So we start off with normal write up. Stated Corporal Breaker is the GI Joe's team's communications expert, making him the crucial link between the battlefield and headquarters. He's familiar with battlefield technology that helps the team monitor Cobra activity. Corporal Breaker is familiar with all NATO and Warsaw Pack communication gear as well as most world export devices. Now this is where it shows Corporal Breaker's skills. Specialized education, signal school. Covert Electronics, Project Gamma, Qualified Expert M16, M-1911A1, Mac-10 Mac Bracket Ingram, Classified Speaks 7 Languages. At the bottom stated, someone quoted, he's efficient and self-assured and has an uncanny ability to turn adverse situations to his favor. And the back here is all black. Next, we'll take a look at his accessories. It comes with a nice little 25th anniversary design of the G.I. Joe base stand. You got a nice little G.I. Joe logo on the top with two pegs for the figure to stand on. Here at the nameplate, that stated as code name Breaker. At the back here stated 2007 Hasbro made in China. 
Now for his accessories here, he's actually lacking four accessories. But in this vehicle package, he comes with a helmet, a pistol, and the web gear. What he's missing is, now I have with me is the comic pack version of Corporal Breaker. He's missing the bubblegum itself, the bubblegum accessory that attached to the headgear. The headgear is missing that. And the back portion of the communication device and the extra pistol. That's all the items that is missing. Which makes this Corporal Breaker figure in the vehicle pack very bland because he only has these three accessories. First we have his helmet which is in green plastic material, no paint job at all and looks pretty bland. And that's the same helmet that all the older releases of the G.I. Joe figures that come along with, especially on the vehicle drivers. Next we have the 25th anniversary version of the pistol itself. As you can see there's the smaller trigger and the trigger guard there. There's the same accessory that quite a number of figures that actually has this. Nice details, but nothing that specific or unique about it. Then we have his web gear, and this web gear is also nothing that special. Quite a number of figures actually has this web gear, but the web gear has quite a number of nice details. You've got small little pouches, grenade, a small little canteen there, or communication devices, a small little holster where you can slot the gun into the holster here, or to the figure's right-sided tie. At the back here, you got a small little pouch. Now the straps are all over here, and where you went, where you wanted to connect the web gear, that's the button itself at the belt there. Very nice. Now let's take a look at Corporal Breaker's paint job. The paint job is very bland, as you can see. There's nothing very exciting about it. He's wearing a typical, well, Green Army uniform fatigue. As you can see there, and majority of the colors there is not painted. The torso here, the waist area, the upper bicep, the elbow here is not painted. The ties and the lower section of the boots are not painted. What's painted, of course, is this section here. The, just below the knees itself is actually painted. The kneecap is, of course, not painted. The flesh tone skin is painted on both sides of the exposed hands. On the torso there, the neck joint is painted, but it's a it looks a little bit greenish there, so they didn't apply a lot of flesh tone skin on the bottom section of the neck here. And of course the head. The entire head is nicely painted. We have a brown hair going on. Eyebrows is painted in brown. Eyes is painted as well. As you can see, the eyes in this area especially on the top section of our eyes there, there's a very heavy black lining there making him looks like he's very angry uh, at the bottom section of his chin there is actually a bit brownish in color because just to indicate that he's not having his shave at all it's actually not bad with the paint job on the head but the rest of the body looks pretty bland looking now let's take a look at the figure's mold now, the torso and the lower waist share the same mold from this version of Snake Eyes. However, for the arms and legs, share the same version from the version 23 of Duke. So I don't have that figure yet, or at least I haven't opened up that figure yet, but that's version 23 for the arms and legs for that Duke. The head sculpt is actually entirely unique to Corporal Breaker, which is actually a, well, a nice change there. But throughout the entire body, it's nothing really exciting. Well, you got a little bit of wrinkles there, a little bit of muscle tone at the back, back pockets, on the side of the tie there, they added the holster, which kind of pointless. The web gear actually has a holster and it doesn't come with an extra pistol, so that's kind of pointless. Got a smaller pouch on one side, the other side is just clean out. A bit of wrinkles at the bottom. You got the boots there with tied up boots, very nice. But nothing really special. What I really don't like is the way they molded and sculpted the wrist there. Because for the joints itself, it's really easy to pop off the hands. 
because there's nothing to support and it's really flimsy speaking of flimsy the other side of the hand as you can see is you can see a little bit of the seams pop out a little bit you can see the bit of gap there now let's take a look at the figure's articulation the head can actually look up all the way up straight side to side and then 360 degrees also here can move forward a bit back a little bit and then 360 degrees shoulder joints here can turn 360 degrees and lift the shoulders all the way up this far now the elbow joints there is a bit disappointing now because they didn't actually give a lot of cut at this section here near the elbow joint so he can only bend this far and bend backwards this far and then 360 degrees now the wrist joint is something I really don't like as I mentioned before because it's really flimsy it can easily pop off but the wrist can actually turn 360 degrees now the hip joints here can move forward back a little bit and to the sides now he has double jointed knee that bends this far and ankle joint that bends downwards upwards and turn 360 degrees overall the figure is it's quite bland looking because Corporal Breaker doesn't come with a lot of accessories for this vehicle pack and it makes it look very boring for this figure itself it doesn't come with his chewing gum it doesn't come with an additional pistol which it has an additional holster for so if I'm gonna give a rating for Corporal Breaker here he is very disappointing actually so I'll just give it a 4 out of 10 yes a 4 out of 10 for Corporal Breaker here as I'm gonna put this in like so to the base stand and there you go 4 out of 10 for Corporal Breaker next up we'll take a look at the ram cycle be right back and we're back after fully assembling the ram cycle and applying the stickers throughout all the entire vehicle now inside the packaging comes with a small little file card and a top section there stated as ram cycle now most people would want to know what's the word ram the full pronunciation for ram cycle really meant it's actually called rapid fire motorcycle and <laughs> that's about it you got a smaller image of the ram cycle being driven by corporal breaker here its designation is motorcycle weapons gatling gun now stated in the write-up this lightning fast rapid fire motorcycles have gatling guns mounted on their sidecars for ground attacks that are swift and serious a turbocharged engine gives them their incredible speed and they have ultra quick response time so it takes a highly experienced and really daring driver to operate them at top speed in the middle of a chaotic battle here we have a smaller typo I'm not too sure if that's intended because if you want to use a short form to describe sergeant is SGT however they actually added an additional S in the front so it's sergeant rock and roll used a ram cycle to attack Cobra Island to rescue kidnapped scientist Dr. Burkhardt and they are often de deployed to defend GI Joe base parameters very nice and the back here is offline here we have a small little instruction sheet and the back here is all blank now the majority of part of the sheet itself describes the techno babble of the ram cycle corner here showcase on how to place the figure and here is where you place the stickers there's a total amount of 12 labels this is the sticker sheet 12 labels to place onto the vehicle itself it's not really that bad it's quite simple to place it onto the vehicle itself of course you still need to detach some of the parts to place the stickers and speaking of the vehicle let's take a look at the vehicle's paint job now the vehicle has very little amount of paint job involved the handles as you can see the tires even the sidecar tires and the back portion of the tire are painted in black as you can see and that's all the paint job that is there's no other paint job there however the plastic colors actually accompany with the entire ram cycle very nicely done we've got a swam green colors going on for the plastic color gray and let's not forget the clear translucent plastic for the headlights and the rear lights which is quite loose now let's take a look at the vehicles uh, vehicles features now as mentioned at the back portion of the packaging itself the wheels do roll 
all of them and they do not squeak they roll pretty nicely done and yes you can actually move the front wheel left and right very nice as you can see they also applied this die cast material as you can see the screw down to fix the wheels in properly so they won't pop out so does the back portion as well now the gatling gun here you got the gatling gun here and at the back there's a dial you can turn the dial to twist the gatling gun but the dial is pretty hard actually it's really hard to twist the dial to turn the gatling gun you might as well well twist it from the front now you can actually detach the mini gun out and put it one side here and then you have the bike itself which is very nice and yes there's a kickstand so you can have the bike well stand straight like so very nice then we have two two bags or saddle bags as you can see here and each of the saddle bags you have to well it's a bit pain to open it but it's still all right one saddle bag is empty and the other side of the bag, as you can see, there's something inside which reveals to be a pistol. A grey pistol which is not painted. Very nice. Now let's take a look at the details of the Ram Cycles mode. Now the mode is actually used, well, the 1984 mode, but they actually retool it a little bit because it's still stated as 2008 has been made in China so yes they still use the at least majority or portion of the 1984 of the Ram Cycles mode but they managed to change the well the year of it at the bottom section here the details is very nice there's a lot of panelings the gun barrel is very nicely done I really love the entire friendship of the view the Ram cycle itself, especially the design is very nice. The handle bars is very nicely done, as you can see. Very nicely detailed stuff. Got the fuel tank there, the engine, the exhaust pipe. Very nice, very detailed stuff. If I pop this out, you can see the other side as well. Really nice details. I really like this. And push the kickstand in let's place the figure onto it like so very nice however there is a bit of a complaint with the ram cycle itself because first off the sidecar can be easily pop off sometimes uh, see even yeah, having a bit of a problem trying to place copper breaker's hands into the handle itself other than that the entire vehicle is actually quite nicely done i really like the entire vehicle itself so if i'm going to give a rating for the ram cycle itself despite the lacking of paint job involved with the entire vehicle it's actually very nice because it's based on the 1984 release of the ram cycle so if i'm going to give a rating out of it I'll give it a nice 8 out of 10. Why 8 out of 10? Because, well, it would be nice if they add in the colors of paint job or at least make it look a bit more nicer. Overall, the entire vehicle is very nice. So, 8 out of 10 for the Ram Cycle. And I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05, and I'm signing off.